Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix this error. Uh, the error that you get on Google Play Store while trying to download or update an app. The error that you get uh, is, you know, could not be downloaded due to an error 495. And here it could be any app in your case. So, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of methods and you can try that out. And let's see if this fixes your issue or not. Okay. So guys, uh, method one we have is uh, you have to simply reboot your Android device and go to Play Store and try to download or update an app. Okay, okay guys, so you tried this method one and it doesn't fix this your issue. Then you have to try this method two. Uh, you have to clear the cache and data of Google Play Store, Google Play Services. And guys, if you see Google Services Framework and Download Manager, then you have to clear their cache and data as well. Okay, so. Uh, you have to go to the you know settings of your phone and uh, here you need to go to apps or application manager so just tap here i have apps over here and uh, you have to swipe to the right uh, to all tabs over here and uh, here you need to find the google play store okay so let me find that so here i have google play store just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok and then tap on clear cache as you can see it's cleared also okay and uh, you need to go back and find here google play services so here i have just tap over here and then tap on manage space and then tap on clear all data and then tap on ok and it's done and you need to go back and okay and find here google services framework okay so just tap over here here i have google services framework and then tap on clear data and then tap on okay and guys you need to go back and find here you know download manager okay so let me find that here I have download manager uh, just tap over here and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok uh, and guys uh, you need to go back and you have to remove your Google account and re-add it again okay so let me go back and uh, you need to go to the settings of your phone and find here accounts okay so here I have accounts just tap over here and then tap on Google and then tap on Gmail and then tap on this you know three dots over here and then tap on remove account and then tap on remove account at the pop-up okay guys so it's now done okay and guys you have to re-add it again so uh, in order to do that uh, uh, you can you know open open Google Play Store as you can see it's checking info okay guys just enter your email over here uh, and then tap on next Just enter your password and then tap on next uh, accept the terms of service okay uh, click over here and then tap on next and it's now added okay guys so try this method too and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay okay guys so also if you have more than one google account associated uh, then you have to remove every account okay okay guys so you tried this method too and it doesn't fix your issue uh, then you have to try this method three so you have to uninstall the updates of google play store if you have it so in order to do that you have to go to the settings then apps and then uh, you have to go to you know all apps 
over here and then uninstall the Google Play Store updates. So let me show you how you can do that. So just go to the you know the settings of your phone and find here apps or application manager. So here I have apps, just tap over here. And you have to swipe to the right to all tabs over here. And uh, find here a Google Play Store. So let me find that. Here I have Google Play Store, just tap over here. And then tap on uninstall updates and then tap. As you can see guys, a Google Play Store. Do you want to replace this app with the factory version? Yes, tap on OK. As you can see, it's uninstalling the updates. All right, guys, after that, you need to go to your, you know, Google Play Store and uh, just try to download or update an app. And let's see if this fixes your issue. Okay. Okay, guys, so you tried this method three and it doesn't fix your issue. And then you have to try this method four. And in this, you have to reset app preferences. Okay. So in order to do that, you have to go to the uh, settings of your phone again and uh, find here apps or application manager. So I have apps, just tap over here and then uh, tap on this, you know, three dots over here. Okay. And then tap on reset app preferences. Uh, as you can see, this uh, will reset all uh, preferences for disabled apps disable app notifications and guys also you will not lose any app data okay so, so just go ahead and tap on reset apps and it's done okay guys and after that you need to restart your phone and uh, just go to play store and try to download or update an app okay guys so uh, you tried this method for and it, it doesn't fix this your issue so you have to uh, try this method five that is, you know, by using VPN method, that is virtual private network. So in step one, uh, you, we have to allow, you know, installation of apps from unknown sources. So just go to the settings of your phone and uh, find here security. Okay. So just tap on security. And then uh, as you can see, we have here unknown sources, allow installation of apps from unknown sources okay so i already have enabled it so let me just show you okay so just tap over here in order to enable it and then tap on okay and it's now enabled okay guys so after that you need, you need to go to google.com by using you know browser and you have to search for rocket vpn apk and you have to download it and install it okay so let me go to google.com in order to show you I'm using Google Chrome and you can use any web browser. Okay, so just you know do a search for Rocket VPN APK. So let me do that. A Rocket VPN APK. And just tap on search button over here. And then you have to come to this a Rocket VPN, this Android APK is free.com. So just tap on this link and uh, you have to scroll down over here so it's opening okay so here we have download rocket VPN APK so just click on this download APK from secure server okay so let me just click on it in order to show you and just you know select your downloader so i just recommend using google chrome okay okay guys so i already you know uh downloaded this and installed on my on my you know phone as you can see i have rocket vpn over here and guys uh, you have to you know just open rocket vpn as you can see guys it's loading and uh, you can select the destination from here okay so just select the destination that you like but i recommend using uh, united states as you can see it's connecting to united states so just connect it and uh, and uh, go to play store and try to download or update it okay guys so i'm just you know uh, canceling this as you can see 
can see it's also you know connected so just give it a feedback yeah i will do it later okay and uh just you know disconnect it when you you know just finished you know uh, updating or downloading it okay so let me disconnect it yes tab disconnect as you can see it's disconnecting and it's disconnected okay well guys so this is really very simple to use and you can try this method this five okay guys so you tried this method five and it doesn't work for you then you can try this method six okay so guys if you have some firewall installed like no road like no root or etc so uh, on your Android device so you have to switch off or uninstall the firewall and try to download or update it okay guys so just try this method 6 if you have you know firewall installed okay guys so you tried this method 6 and it doesn't work for you then you can go for method 7 and also guys uh, if you are using Wi-Fi to download an app try to switch to another Wi-Fi or mobile data and try to download an app again and let's see if this fixes your issue or not and if you are using mobile data to download an app then try switching to Wi-Fi and let's see okay guys so you try this method uh, 7 and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not. okay guys so also uh, it doesn't work for you then you can go for method 8 that is you have to factory reset your phone okay so generally uh, the above methods are working for you know many number of people uh, but in worst cases suppose if above methods doesn't work for you then you can do a factory reset your phone okay? so just go to the settings of your phone and scroll down and find here backup and reset just tap over here and then tap on factory data reset and tap over here reset phone and it will do factory data reset okay and uh, just you know open play store and try to download or update it okay guys so you try uh, all these methods and uh, let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not so that's it for this video thanks for watching uh